Oh, I'm so excited to come your way this new year. Happy New Year, everyone, 2021. Thank God for the whole year, year 2020. You will notice that uh, the whole year has changed. Zero has changed to one. It used to be 2020. Now it is 2021. And I pray in the name of Jesus that relative to your need, be it fruitfulness, be it relationship, zero will change to one in this new year in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for your support for our ministry and for this channel in the last year. And I pray in Jesus' name that you will not lack support in Jesus' name. Thank you for your comments, your like, and your shares for our videos. Uh, last week, we started with Husband and Wife Series Special. And we thank God for the testimonies we've gotten from Homeless. Thank you for sharing the video. Uh, today, again, we are coming with another powerful message titled, One Man Battle. And I pray that this message will also bless your life in Jesus' name. Please don't forget to share with your family, your friends, like the video, send us your comments, your testimonies. And if you have not subscribed, please we beg you, click the subscribe button. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Next week, Friday, by the grace of God, which is the 8th day of January, we are going to be having husband and wife series interactive session. We are going to be asking questions about homes and relationships, and uh, we'll be live chatting with all our viewers around the world. It's going to be by 8 p.m. Nigerian time on Friday, 8th of January. And by the grace of God, the following week, the 15th day of January, uh, the House of a Stranger Season 2 will start. I know you've been waiting. I know you've been expectant. The Lord will not disappoint you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.
How dare you? You think you can be smarter than the body? Were you not at the funeral? Why then do you think I will spare you for playing on my intelligence? Keep quiet! Look, no more excuses. Produce my balance latest 4 p.m. Or by five minutes after four, you'll be dead. Stone dead! It's your choice. with me that the song he just presented is a paradigm shift. It is different from the meaningless noise filled with immoral content that we hear out there. And it is affecting our children and youth. That is why we at Absolute Success Foundation have decided to encourage talented children out there in different areas. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the winner of Talented Children Series Award, Master Olada for David Benjamin. As he makes his way off stage. I would like his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ola Itzmo Benjamin, to join us upstage. Please put your hands together for them. That, one, that was great. You made us proud today. Let him take it inside himself. Mom, let me carry it. What are brothers for? I said you should return the keyboard back to him. You're not his slave. Don't you get it? Mommy, let me take it inside for him. Madam, excuse me. You are not his messenger either. In fact, both of you, inside, now. I said inside, go inside for me. And you, if you like, leave the keyboard outside. And if you choose to, take it inside. Nonsense. Inside! Oh, look who He's gone. Let her rest in peace. I know she's gone. And I've gotten over the shock of her demise. I have also made sure that the love I have for my late wife does not affect our relationship. And that's why I stopped talking about her. Even when you removed all our pictures from this house, did I complain? But that ball brought 
back the vivid memories of his late mother to me today. She steered up the gift of music in him. And she taught him much of what we see him doing now. She personally bought a keyboard for him and got a music tutor to teach him. She poured herself so much into the boy as though she knew that her time on heart was short. Thank you for accepting that was your son. Please feel at home. Just help us manage this like refreshment. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. <laughs> um, help us manage it. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Thank ma. you, ma. Thank you, Thank very you. Much. <laughs> Why are you still here? Or uh, what, what exactly are you waiting for? Uh, uh, what? Who invited you to this meeting now? Who invited you? Will you get inside, my friend? I said you should get inside. Stupid woman. Please don't mind that, Jerry. Please feel at home. Take your drinks. Take your drinks. <laughs> Sir, I wish you have spoken to her with a little more respect. Eh? That woman, please forget about her. Uh -huh. Women like to be pampered by their husbands. Look, forget about her. She's nobody. Straight to business. What do you have on ground? <laughs> no. Not anymore. Mommy is small now. <laughs> I don't take sugar again. Because I don't want to die young. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have original honey? Yes, I do. Okay, that's better. Let me have that. Let me get it for you. Dapo is the winner. He has defeated you three times. Hmm. Up, Dapo. Mabel. Yes, Mom. What did you just say? Who is the winner? And who is the loser? Shogun. He has lost three consecutive times to Dapo. He doesn't know how to play it, and you won't allow me to play. How many times am I going to warn you to stop referring to your brother Shogun as a loser? See, Shogun is a winner in Jesus' name. Dapo is the loser. Mommy, I'm only playing a game, and Dapo is also my brother. Oh, yeah! Inside! What nonsense! I'm telling you, your brother is a winner. You're telling me he's a loser. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You too! Hello? Inside! Can you go to the Nonsense! What? Mommy, your papi get cold. What? No woman ever prays that another woman takes up her responsibilities. 
particularly when it comes to raising children. Labake. That innocent boy did not kill his mother. And I am sure the lady herself must have prayed very well to God to spare her life to be able to take care of her son. But things happen and we can't begin to question God. That boy did not choose to become your stepson. Destiny did. So, I expect you to be a good stepmother to him and stop reminding him of his late mom. Now see, when a child loses his or her mother, it's like a guiding angel has departed. Why don't you let that or see a new angel in you and stop reminding him of his late mom? Um, Nabake, I am your mother. And I don't pray anything bad happen to you. But if God decides to take you home, someone else will take care of your children. God forbid. Oh, everybody does that. Even those that are now in the grave did it. Oh, mommy. Yeah. Oh, mommy. The truth is always bitter. But I can't hide my feelings. I truly don't like the way you are treating that innocent boy. Hey? For crying out loud, that boy has not committed any offense. And it is not his fault to have become your stepson. even ashamed of yourself. Eh? Look at that. Look at that. Are you not old enough to father that stupid girl you are messing around with? <laughs> Meanwhile, asking you for money is like pouring salt on your fresh wound. But look at, look at the way you lavished your money on your home. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. If anything should happen to my phone, I will not take it lightly with you. I will not take it lightly with you. What do you want, Chef? What do you want? Must you sleep around with everything is cat? Yes. Yes. Look, don't disturb me. Go to your room. I go nowhere, bad moss. I go nowhere. If you want to kill me today, I am ready for it. Eh? I am ready for it. You cannot abandon me in the house like a piece of furniture. I'll flex around like a dog. Dog? You called me a dog? Now tell me. Who recorded that video? Answer me before I set you ablaze. I said, who gave you that video? Go ask your mother in the grave. Eh? Mm -hmm. Look, I will kill you with my bare hands. If you don't tell me who recorded that video. Who gave you the video? 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 Maria! Maria! <laughs> That's how people behave. Daddy, know. mommy, mm. I would like to do a song for the BKO Foundation. They are taking entries for a 90 second song from children between the ages of 9 and 14. And I would like my brother and sister to join me for backups. Wow. That's a very good idea. And when do you plan to do the song? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before you start asking him when he wants to do what, please, Jerry Dapo. You said uh, Mabel and Shegun will do what? They will back me up. Yeah. Mabel and uh, Shegun, they will be at the back. Yes. And you, you will lead. Yes, ma'am. They will be behind though. That's what you mean. Yes, ma'am. 
They will be at the back. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. I know you will pretend you don't understand what I'm talking about. See, I cannot take this anymore. Why is that prepared to put my children at the back in this house? Eh? And you pretend as if it's a normal thing. See, if the three of them cannot stay in front and sing the song together, then count my children out of it. I can't take this negative word in this house. The, 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 the negative word uh, back up in this house. No, never. It will happen. What are you waiting for? Come on, get out, get, 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 get into your room. Nonsense. Egg berry. What? Good day, madam. Mrs. Koka, well done. How are you? Very fine, thank you. The MD calls for an emergency meeting of the senior staff. So, I help you pick up your notice. When is the meeting? 30 p.m. today. How we have to take permission to be absent. I'm a bit indisposed to attend such a meeting now. Mrs. Badmos, he beats you again? <laughs> He almost killed me this time around. My dear, I need help. I am all how to set myself free from his bondage. Yes, you really need to. Your life is at risk. This is an extreme case of domestic violence that needs urgent attention. We need to report him to the security agents. What I need to fight my husband is far more than that. I don't understand. I think I need to fight him spiritually. Eh. Yeah! Ha! Ah! Maria, I know my husband killed you. I should have lied to him. Oh. Oh. I made him kill you. Yes, I did. Leah. Yeah. Yes. Please pray for us before we sleep. Mm -mm. You know, please pray now. I'm tired. I prayed yesterday before we slept. It's your turn tonight. Okay. Any prayer points? No, not really. Oh, yeah. Let us pray for our children. Okay. Let us pray that God help them in their academics. Um, let us also thank God that all that have made the list of the first three for the BKO Foundation Children Music Competition. Mm. That boy made us proud in this family. Mm. So you will pray. You will pray that God will help him to come first. It's over to you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for our children. For they shall be great and excel in life. Amen. Father, concerning Ola Dakbo, you know how much I love this boy. And I want him to excel in his academics. But he's just too adamant with singing instead of facing his studies. Father Lord, we did not send him to school to sing but to study. Please, grant him a change of heart before it is too late. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this boy is stubborn. He is stubborn and disrespectful. Lord, I pray that you remove every spirit of stubbornness from his life in the name of Jesus.
Heavenly Father, help Hadidakbo. Help him. He needs your touch in his life. Good readings. I'm right in front of my television. Of Bishop Kola Oronako Memorial All right. Senior Secondary School Music Competition. Mm -hmm. Who will go home with a whooping sum of 10 million Naira scholarship? 10 million. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is. Let's go on a short commercial break. Oh. We'll be right back. Hey. Bishop Gideon Kola Onolakbo is one of such heroes the world cannot ignore, nay, cannot afford not to celebrate. Following his passing in October 2012, a need arose to institute a foundation in his honor aimed at immortalizing his name and using it as a platform through which his various spiritual and humanitarian services could be effectively propagated. The foundation has been upbeat in providing humanitarian gestures to institutions and communities with a view to alleviating their pains. So far, a couple of projects have been executed within the limited financial and material resources of the foundation. These include the supply of 150 customized bed covers and pillowcases to the Ifakoi Jai General Hospital in Lagos sinking of two functional boreholes in the hosting communities of the Abundant Life Church branches in Okweri, a suburb of Ilorin, the Kwara State capital, as well as in Odorno in Ibadan, or your state. A similar borehole project has also been undertaken to cater the water needs of one of the neighboring communities in which the Abundant Life Gospel Church headquarter is domiciled in Lagos. His visionary leadership his selfless service to God and humanity will continue to endure. He lived, he loved, he left, but his works live on. Welcome back. This is the final decision of the jury. The overall winner is Oladabo, David Benjamin. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Where is my phone? My phone, my phone. Dako, Dako, Dako. Ten million. Ten million. Huh?
Ah, ah. Eh. What did you leave the table for to clear for you? Come and go and pack the plate into the kitchen and get into your room. Ah, Dakpo, not you. Abba. Dakpo, Dakpo. Hope you enjoyed your meal. Yes. But well, you want more? Mm, thank you, ma. I'm very okay with the food, ma. Mm. All right. It's okay. You can go into your room. Dakpo, Dakpo. My dear. Hmm. God answers prayers. If you see how excited I was when Dakpo's name was declared as the winner. Ha! That boy has really made us proud parents. With anger. Um, sweetheart, um, about the 10 million era scholarship, how are we going to distribute it amongst the children? Children? Yes. Oh, are you talking about the children of our church members who backed Dakbo up? It's okay. We will uh, think about the amount we can give them to appreciate them. Yeah, but that's thoughtful of you. At least they were there to assist him. When you objected that your own children cannot back up. Which church members' children now? What's my business with them? See, I am talking about our own children. I we will distribute the 10 million naira amongst our children. Dakbo, Meben and uh, Shegu. Abi, you want to separate them now that Dr. Dakbo just collected their scholarship? No, I am not going to separate my children because of money. But I will obey the foundation that gave this scholarship to Dapo. Because this gesture is not without conditions and instructions attached to it. It is strictly meant for his education. Strictly meant for which education? Strictly meant for his education. And, and I, you said I should be praying and I've been praying. Strictly for his education and that bastard has been eating my food. See eh? That uh, 10 million naira will be distributed evenly between our children. And that is final. What nonsense? You remember this one here? What? I'm going to walk around. I'm going to walk me. I'm going to walk me. Children! Children! Yes, ma. Food is ready. Okay, ma.
you want more? No, thank you. I'm okay. Who be this? Who be that? I'm my customer. I'll go be your customer now. You the Chris? Now me she the call. Never did that level now. Who the go? Charge the woman. The woman say make we request for 10 million naira ransom for me papa. And we go share them 50 50. 10 miller. Which kind of work in papa they do? I don't know the work in papa they do. Uh, she talks say they give the boy 10 million naira scholarship. And they don't pay him. Inside him papa account. You know the woman well? Ah, that very well. She go play the game very well. <coughs> no wala. The address of the boy's house. Okay. And it's cool. All the info, they there. <laughs> and uh, what is your testimony? I don't have testimony. I used the charm as you instructed, but nothing happened. The man is still the same. I told you to take the second option, but you refused. Go have your seat. Thank you, ma. This is the big one. We call it TC. Total control. 
if you put this in your husband's food and he eats it, <laughs> you have total control over him. I mean, absolute control. So, are you ready for TC? Yes, ma. I'm ready. I'm sure you still remember that once the deal is done, it cannot be reversed. Okay, ma. No problem. I'm him. That wicked man can kill me before they break. <laughs> uh, you are about to have your freedom. Thank you, ma. <laughs> I will give you a call once I leave the house now, so you can meet me at the location. I already sent the address to you. You can come along with a cab. Good. How? dangerous risks I'm about to take.
Are you alright? Are you okay? <laughs> Bad news. Yes, ma'am. Eh? <coughs> Bad news. Yes, ma'am. Now pack the plates and take them to the kitchen. Okay. Go and wash the plates. Yes, ma. I will wash everything now, now. Good boy. Um, meanwhile, I want to go and have my bath. Ah. Okay, ma. Uh, but uh, let me go and prepare your water. Ah. Yes. And uh, I'm going to make sure everywhere is tidy by the time you finish beating. Ah. Good boy. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Uh, you can go and do it. Can do it. Bad news. Yes, ma. What is the meaning of all this? Uh, I was washing dishes. Ah, dishes? Ordinary dishes? And you poured water on yourself like this? Ah, anyway, as you can see, you can't go out of the house like this today. So you will have to stay back at home. Yes, ma. Uh, my phone is ringing. Can I pick it? Pick it? Thank you, ma. Hello? Uh, wait for me. I'm coming. Uh, uh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I won't be coming out of the house today again. Bye. <laughs> and who was that? Um, one of my boys. Mm. So, where are you guys going to carry out your evil work today? Actually, uh, we planned to kidnap a young boy after school. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, since you said I shouldn't go out, we are not going again. No, uh, we won't go again. Uh, uh, wait. You want to kidnap an innocent child and put his family in pain? Eh? Just like the way you killed my friend Maria. Because she recorded your the video of your illicit affair. Or do you think I don't know you killed her? Uh, 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 no, 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 uh, no, no. I didn't kill her, honestly. Yeah. Eh, honestly, I didn't kill her. Mm. Uh, I only sent one of my boys to kill her. Mm. Can you hear yourself? Eh? Anyway, now let me have the phone. My phone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I will need the detailed information about the boy you intend to kidnap today. His picture and um, the address of the school. Hmm? I will help you to carry out the job myself. Ah, thank you. Um, inside the car. And do you expect me to go and get that? Sorry. Come back here. Take my bag to the car. Okay, ma. <laughs> um. What? The shoe and the bag, mm. they match. Mm -hmm. And they look very nice on you. Mm. Very beautiful. Mm. My dear, you are sweet. Mm. You are beautiful. Thank you.
Hello? Hello, Mr. Benjamin. This is Mr. Alfred, the principal of Juma International School. Please, we need you to come to the school immediately. Please come now. It's an emergency. Emergency? Oh, okay. I will be there in a moment, please. Hello, darling. Hello. Uh, please, I, I just called to inform you that I I just received a call from Dakwa School right now. Uh, and and uh, they asked me to come to the school immediately. Oh, oh my God. What, what happened to him? Um, I don't have the details now. I only called to let you know that I will not be coming home now. I'm heading for the school right away. Should I come and join you, Oni? Oh, no, 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 no. No, just hold on. I'll call you. Uh, oh, God. Don't let anything happen to Dr. Bo. Hello? Hello? Hello, Ma. I just got the information now that the boy has been kidnapped. Yes, please take him to a very far away place where the police will not be able to trace you at all. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'll make sure my husband pays the 10 million naira ransom as soon as possible. And please note, don't call my number again. And if I have any information for you, I'll call you. Is that okay? Okay, all right, all right. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay, madam. How far? Ah, that's my guy. Oh, <laughs> don't do. Oh, my guy. Don't click. Huh? If you don't click. Ah. <laughs> Hello? Hello there? Alpha, I'm getting worried. We have left the school. We are now at the police station with the principal. Police station? Oh, oh, please, I, I, I will call you back. <sighs> I'm sure the police officers know the risk of tracking those deadly kidnappers. They should just allow us to pay the ransom and forget about all this thing. Hello? Hello? Madam, now God I want to talk to you. Listen to me. See, if you love yourself, don't ever call this number again. Eh? And make sure you run away from this state because police will soon track you down. All your evil deeds are no longer hidden. Eh? And you will soon be caught. Ah. Eh? Ah. Yawa don't gasso. Eh? Oma. We body eh? Welcome there. Thank you. What 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 happened to Dakbo? What's the next point of action? There's nothing to actually worry about. Mm. Mm. 
when I got to the school, the principal explained what actually happened. Okay. Somebody dropped a note with Dako's picture at the entrance of the principal's office. I was given the note to read. The writer of the note stated that some kidnappers want to kidnap our son, Dakbo. That the picture, I mean his picture, and the school address is a proof that the information at the writer's disposal is true. So, uh, the, the, the writer of the note then advised that the school and uh, Dakbo's parents should take security measures to guarantee his safety. So we decided to report the case to the police. Thank God. I was very disturbed. <sighs> but I am very happy nothing bad happened to my son. The police asked us to come back tomorrow for further investigations. Oh, that's very good. Yes. <sighs> really? Mama, I want to appreciate you for giving me the total freedom in life. Ah. <laughs> My husband can no longer maltreat me. And I want you to know that I am very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It doesn't fail. Before you go, I'd like you to meet my media team so that I take your testimony as a proof that my charm works. <laughs> and in fact, I need it for all without us. Okay, ma. Uh, mama, one more thing. Um, please, can you help me reduce the power of the charm used on him a little? You see, it's becoming unbearably embarrassing. The way my husband now behaves, especially in the public. He is now a laughing stock to my friends and his family members who now accuse me of being responsible for his sudden change in character. Mama, the charm seems to be too powerful. <laughs> you are a stupid woman. The strength of that charm can only be reduced on one condition. But what is the condition, ma? I will do anything to reduce it. He dies. Ha! Death is the only solution. Mommy, I'll tell Mabel to help you bring the Jero tomorrow. Oh, that would be lovely. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Labake, I heard that uh, Dakbo will be traveling abroad for a performance as an ambassador of a telecommunication company. Mm. Ah, congratulations. What for? Ah. Because Dakbo, your son is traveling to America to perform. Mommy, eh? how many times am I going to tell you that Dakbo is not my son? Why are you behaving this way now? Why? You know the pain I've been going through, not knowing the whereabouts of my only son, Shegun, for some years now. Mm. Did anyone tell you that I know his whereabouts? Sometimes I wonder if you and that was mother ever met before she died. Because I don't know why it is impossible for you, Labake, to love that poor boy. Did I just say poor? No. That boy is not poor. We all can see that his life is making progress. Labake, I hope you will not kill yourself because of that boy. Mommy, 
I will advise you to love Dapo now that he's an orphan. Mommy, she wants any more, Robert. Kilo de. She ain't coming one, Benny. Oh, because I came to your house, Abby. Don't worry. I'll stay in my house. La Bake. La Bake. La Bake. Maybe. What exactly is wrong with you? I've been noticing your strange behaviors these days. Is there anything you're not telling me? Like what? Mabel, I'm asking you again. Is there anything I need to know that you're not telling me? Yes. What? It is what you are suspecting. And who told you I'm suspecting anything? I'm pregnant. Yeah. You, you are pregnant. brought disgrace to this family. I'm waiting for them at home. Yes. I told her to get the man that impregnated her. I'll call you back. Where is he? Is this the guy that impregnated you? Is he not fire? Oh. What? Mommy! What? Mommy! Mommy! Go help me carry her now. Mommy! Mommy! Get up! Ah. This girl! Ah. Mommy! Oh. Why she come at me like this? You sure say she never died? Do you realize this is your mother-in-law on the floor? Ah. You the crazy? Ah. Which mother-in-law? Or the mother of my baby mama? <laughs> mommy, mommy. Here you go. Ah, mommy. Mommy, get up, please. Mommy, please. I have known you 
since our days in the primary school. You are one of the best talents in the music industry in this country. I have watched you rise with unprecedented speed in your chosen career. At this juncture, we must tell ourselves the truth. There are some demonic powers fighting against your destiny. This thing happening to you is not ordinary. I think so. But I don't know what to do again. What, what, what have you done about it before now? You see, when I started having these bad dreams, see myself before an entrance, and I would struggle to go through, but it would be denied access by some evil spirit. I started praying about it. Hmm. Have you noticed any change since you've been praying? It's rather getting worse. <sighs> the Holy Spirit specifically instructed me to come and show you the way out of your battle. He said, you need to do just two things. What are those two things? Good. First, know the truth. Number two, accept the truth. Know the truth? Accept the truth? See, in Jesus Christ is the truth that you need to accept. His word is the truth that you need to know. This is the surest way to victory. It is eternally proven. So, how do I go about it? The everlasting King of Glory beckons to you. He says, surrender your life to me. Will you? I will. Oh. Thank you, King of Glory. As you can see, she's still unconscious. Will she come out of it? Well, let's be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. Well then, the guests are here. Oh, that's good. Let them hear. All right, sir. You can do this. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I can. Hi, guys. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please do have your seat. Thank you. I am Daniel Busari, the public relations manager. And my colleague, Mr. Adelami Moses, is a quality control manager. We are here to listen to the song of Mr. Dapo that is producing towards the launching of one of our new products in Washington next month. You are warmly welcome. And um, by way of introduction, this is uh, Emeka Chinidu, the studio engineer, and um, Sesuma Debayo, my manager, and my humble self, oh, wow. uh, <laughs> DB <laughs> Dako Benjamin. And um, I want to appreciate the management of your reputable organization for believing in me. I have five tracks for the new brand and the maximum duration for each of them, it's three minutes. And so, we're good to go. Yeah. Right? We go to business now. All right. One, two, three, go! 
Oh. Oh. Now what happened? What happened? Give me. What happened there? Ah. What? What happened there? What happened? What is it? What is it about? What? 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 Is it? Please, let's what let's get him up. Let's get him up. We just take him down, sir. Ah. But you said that the Holy Spirit gave you the secret to my fit tree. Say so. Yes. And that still stands. See, some miracles don't just happen instantly. They take a process. Dabo, God is working on your behalf. D. See, see, I want to be left alone, guys. I want to be left alone. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's okay. okay. Prophet, sir, my friend here needs your prayers. Sir, please help me. God is the only one who has power to help. Uh, my brother, there is nothing difficult on this mountain of prayers. So tell me, what is the reason for your tears? Sir, my name is Oladapo Benjamin. I'm a musician. I've been fighting serious battles in my life. And whenever I dream, I usually see the manifestation of such dream in real life. The latest dream I had. There was a beautiful gate I supposed to go through and was denied access. When I made a bold move to go through it, I was seriously beaten by some evil spirit. <sighs> you must be ready for battle. Neither. In Jesus' name. Hey, man. My father, my father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Stand up. The Lord said you should fast for 21 days. And your battle will be won. Sir, did you say 21 days? Yes, 21 days of dry fast. Ah. <laughs> you should even be thanking God. That's, it's not more than 21 days. My brother, there are those who have come to prayer mountains like this and were given. 70 days of dry fast. <sighs> it's okay, sir. I'll do it. Better. Life is a battleground. You either fight or be fought to a standstill till you become a prey. Mm. Period. This stubborn man, what do you want this time? To engage me in another fight? Yes. But this time around, it is a fight that will give me my victory. Because I'm going to walk through this beautiful gate today. To my next level of glory, I will take over. I'm taking all that is mine. <laughs> now listen, I am here with fasting. I fasted for 21 days. <laughs> and this spiritual exercise cannot be in vain. <laughs> now I know you must be feeling the power of God. So I advise you to open this gate of your own accord before the fire of God bursts it open. 21 days. <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> What an embarrassment. 
before the count of three, you must disappear. Now, one, disappear by fire. Two, disappear by fire. Three, disappear by fire. Dako, you are closer to your victory now. <laughs> Sir, I don't want a victory that will be closer to, and we never get. <laughs> I need absolute victory in my life. I was asked to be born again. I did. I was asked to fast for 21 days. I did. And yet, I was defeated. God, what else do you want from me? He wants you to go on 40 days prayer and fasting. Sir? Yes. You will start another round of 40 days prayer and fasting tomorrow. You see, your life battle are so massive and highly technical. It's such like that a 21 day prayer and fasting was not enough. Dapo, after this 40 days prayer and fasting, there will be a meeting between heaven and the heart just because of you. <laughs> God, what have I done to the this? Another 40 days? Uh, wait. Uh, Dapo, Dapo, uh, are you sure you are not uh, living in sin? I was living in sin before. Eh? Serious and terrible sins. Okay. But not anymore. Okay. I'm a changed person now. Mm. The only sin that I've been struggling with ever since I gave my life to Christ was talkativeness. But I think with the last 21 days fast, I've overcome that. Hmm. <laughs> the fast really dealt with me. Mm -hmm. To talk was a real work. My lips and tongue were so heavy. That's all right. Uh, you see, living a righteous life with commitment to fasting is a strong weapon that will make the devil to tremble. Righteousness is fasting. Mm-hmm. You have gone to increase your number. <laughs> you are still very few to confront me in battle. <laughs> I doubt if you know that I'm not here with just anybody. I am here with fasting and righteousness. Where is your righteousness? Mm. Iniquity! Yes, sir! Two of you will contend to ascertain the strength of his righteousness. <laughs> that boy. Don't give up. 
Just wear my brother. Don't give up. I'm frustrated. I'm fed up. There's so much. There's so much talked about. I'm from Benjamin Stones, America. I slipped out of my hands. The company has given my slot. There's so much. Oh. This God has decided not to help me. And the enemy did to me the way they like. They sent a letter to us that Dako has psychiatric problems uh. and that they have terminated the contract. Uh. Wow. Uh. This is serious. <laughs> the God of calling and covenant. Eh, Dapo. Dapo. Sir. Do you pay your tithe? Yes, sir. What about offering? Yes, I give offering. Uh, do you forgive people when they offend you? Yes, sir. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Good. If all these things are available, you already have a mighty army. So go and intensify your prayer fiercely and earnestly like Prophet Elijah. My brother, I am so sure this time around, you will come back with victory. Mm. <laughs> Are you sure? Ah, ah, ah. I said, Go! My God will give you victory. All of you are few. Listen. Even if you're a legion, you can never defeat me. Dark Paul, stop bothering yourself. You can never win this battle. Why is it so difficult for you to accept defeat? Oh boy, you are a loser. You can never win this battle. So accept your fate. This is a battle of number, and I'm certain that Petri is mine. So, Satan, I give you one minute to say your last prayer. <laughs> Why are you so ignorant? Who do you expect me to pray to? I don't need any prayer because my destiny was long determined before you are born. My destiny is eternal damnation. No prayer can change that. That is why I am furiously carrying out my mission to ensure that all of you live miserably on earth and still follow me to hell. I'm not interested in your pathetic story. Mighty army. Yes, sir. Mighty army. Yes, sir. Mighty army. Yes, sir. Strike! Strike! Strike!
da po kol kol da da po da po The company has given the contract they revoked from me to Johnson. Johnson of all people. <sighs> Johnson's destiny is now a shiny mine. Effortlessly. Mm. <laughs> Effortlessly indeed. Dapo. Do you know that Johnson is trying to manipulate your destiny? How do you mean? This is what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. Baba, Dapo has been outshining me all the time. The contract I have lobbied, labored, and bribed for was given to him effortlessly without him doing anything. Can you imagine that, Baba? <laughs> what exactly do you want me to do for you? I want you to close all doors of success and breakthrough against him <laughs> so that those doors will be open to me. Hmm. I hope you have been told that whatever that is closed here remain forever closed. No one opens it. Yes, Baba. I know. Let it be forever closed. Okay. You will need to get me his picture. Art copy or soft? <laughs> I have not been dealing with art copy anymore. I need soft copy now. Right away, sir. <laughs> that is good, Baba. Yeah. Don't see. And I didn't know. Yeah. How would you have known? How would you know? Oh, the secret of the kingdom belongs to the children of the kingdom. I remember we agreed to start a series of study of the Bible for you to grow as young comfort. But you stopped coming to me. Let me confess to you. The way you prayed that day was really discouraging. You know how big my problems are. And you pray one small prayer that cannot even kill a small mosquito. And you expected me to be coming for series of Bible study. So, I said to myself that God has used you to lead me to Christ, but I must look for a place where prayer is very hot, hot enough to destroy all my enemies. Oh, and uh, how about those problems of yours? I believe the battle is over now. <laughs> Far from it. The battle is getting fiercer. Why? Have you not been praying? I've not only been praying. I've been turned to a prayer and fasting machine. I've done more than 120 days of fasting. And yet, the enemy will not let me be. Mm. Mm. Now, since you've been praying and fasting, what are the instructions you've had from the Lord? I mean, what has the Holy Spirit said to you? Holy Spirit. Ah. Uh, you are surprised I mentioned Holy Spirit? Yes. I don't know anything about Holy Spirit. Oh. Despite your several days of fasting and prayer? Hmm. Oh, I now know what your problem is. You do? Yes. What is it? The same slow and unappealing way the initial instruction you neglected series of bible studies yes because that was the approach jesus used on his followers he taught them with many parables about the secret of god's kingdom before he sent the holy spirit to them which symbolizes power that was why 
demons, bowl, even to their shadows and aprons. That bow. Yes. Our weapons of warfare are many, according to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, from verse 14 through to 18. In verse 17, the Bible talks about the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Before verse 18, which talks about praying always. This is because any prayer that does not take its roots from the Word of God is mere physical exercise. The same God who calls the prophets also calls the teacher of the Word. Our works complement one another. Christianity is not a hundred meter race, it is a marathon. Yes, you don't need just speed, you equally need stamina. Many end time Christians who prefer going for prayer meetings, neglecting Bible study, are like birds or an aircraft attempting to fly with one wing. The crash is imminent. Mm. Brother Paul, yes. the truth you know is the truth that can set you free. That truth is the Word of God. Let us explore the scriptures together and get the revelation for your life battle. Mm. God honors His Word more than His name. Are you ready? <sighs> No matter what comes my way, I will stay strong, I will stand tall, through all the challenges of life, I know I won't faint, I know I won't fall, though the storm may This literate will not stop to amaze me. You want to fight me with physical weapon? <laughs> I can see that you have gone insane. I'm not here to fight. Then, what are you doing here? This is a battleground. Yes, I know that this is the place of battle. We are destiny, are granted, and are thwarted. Yes, 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 indeed, you know. But that's not all that I know. I now know that this is a place of restoration where everything that is stolen is being taken back. 
I need not to go into any warfare with you again. Because my Savior at fought and triumphed over you a long time ago. Ah! Stop that nonsense. You are a defeated foe. It's like your recent sufferings in my hands have affected your brain. Are you talking to me this way? You even have a God to come to me with a musical instrument. Do you take this place for a party? Nothing is wrong with my brain. I have just been rightly informed. I have been thought right, and now I know my rights. And this musical instrument is to celebrate my victory over you. Satan, my eyes of understanding is enlightened. All my sufferings in your hand were due to my ignorance. Not that you were powerful. Oh, my life was just like a bird attempting to fly with one wing. I was deep neck in prayer and fasting without the knowledge of the word of God. I prefer prayer meetings to Bible study. And so you played upon my ignorance and you cheated me. <laughs> but now I know better. I have a balanced diet from both the teacher of the word of God and the prophet. Ah! Ah! I am not surprised. This is the way you usually make mouth before me. Anytime you want to confront me in battle. And you always go back being defeated. Let me advise you to forget the fact that any man can fight for you here. If you come to confront me with a thousand men, I will defeat you all. Satan, may I announce to you that I don't need more attitude to win this battle. In 1 Samuel, chapter 17, when the army of Philistine gathered themselves against the children of Israel, their champion, Goliath, said in verse 8 of that chapter, Choose you this day, just a man, if you will be able to fight against me just a man and there came a man from the house of jesse and he fought defeated and caught the head of goliath that day there was another battle between you satan and mankind the battle of our dominion over you the battle of our dominion over sin the battle of our dominion over sickness and god said who shall i send and who will go for me and God sent just a man again from the same lineage of Jesse. And he fought and defeated you long time ago. Well, I don't know what you are talking about. You cannot claim to be ignorant of this. The man did not defeat me. I defeated him. And he died long time ago. You defeated him he defeated you long time ago <laughs> for that could not hold you captive even in the grave jesus you are god oh well over two thousand years ago you defeated the devil oh thank you father you made a mess of him. Lord Jesus, I received my victory, not by my righteousness, not because I know how to fight, not because I know how to fast. I received my victory by faith in the redemptive power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Jehovah, see your name. Jehovah is your name, my 
back to Warrior <laughs> Wave him back to you <laughs> Jehovah is your name Demons tremble at your presence ah, What a mighty God we serve Everything written about you is great. Jesus. Hold on, Rumi. Hold on, Rumi. Ukunri Osa. Jordan is a parasay. How okay, Lanla, for Biago. Okay, 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 okay. For be your drag out. Oh, bad sorrow, fi jalo. I to be sure, Ogun. Ogbe mani ya keru oboni ya. I sad you, Ogun lalo. I can you, Ogun labo. Mighty warrior. I bow at your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, please. Please, one more thing. Please, Lord Jesus, one more thing. Open the floor gate in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me open the blood gate in abundance and cause your rain let it fall on me oh. thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus Baba oh 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 Baba oh oh No what comes my way I will stay strong I will stand tall Through all the challenges of life I know I won't faint, I know I won't fall, though the storm may rage, the wind may blow, seems like there's nowhere to go, I will boldly walk through the shadow of death, for the Oh 